Episode 22 of Wasteland Weapon S6, the Machine and Gewehr 42. I would like to apologize for this rather short and kind of rushed episode. This is not the actual episode I wanted to release. I was working on another one, but then realized most of the way through writing that, I was actually over 2,000 words into that episode writing, that I could not complete it until Bethesda finishes the Steel Dawn expansion quest line for Fallout 76. You see, Bethesda's doing the Telltale style of episodic releases for Steel Dawn rather than releasing it all as one big content patch. So, instead, today we're talking about the MG42. The MG42 has appeared in just Fallout 76. The MG42 is a general purpose machine gun dating from World War II. It was made as a lower cost replacement for the older MG34. The MG-34 was a costly weapon to produce because of its heavily milled parts. The MG-42 lowered the cost by using metal stampings. However, in practice, the MG-42 never fully replaced the 34 during the war. The operating system of the MG-42 is recoil-operated roller-locked and fires the 8mm Mauser round. One of the most famous features of the MG-42 is its extremely high rate of fire of over 1,200 rounds per minute, giving it many nicknames like Hitler's Buzzsaw and the Linoleum Ripper. The MG42 has seen a lot of use after World War II, mostly being rechambered in the 7.62 NATO round. For other post-war versions, there is the Rheinmetall MG3, which is basically just the MG42 again, the Sig MG710, and the Steyr MG74. Also, the Set Me Ameli, while stylistically modeled on the MG42, it operates differently and fires the intermediate caliber 5.56 round. In real life, the MG42 is very well known and has had a very long service life, especially for an LMG. So, let's get on to the Fallout universe. Well, it has only appeared in Fallout 76, and to me, it's a rather strange appearance for the game. I mean, the game takes place in West Virginia, and yet you find this random World War II German light machine gun here. And we know it's the MG42 because there, the plan for it actually says MG42. However, whenever you get the model, whenever you make one in the game, it's just called light machine gun. The plan for the MG42 is given out at random events. You can also find the plan being sold at the first responders vendor box. This is also extremely strange, as you would think one of the more militarized factions like the Free States or the Brotherhood of Steel would be selling the plan for this, not the faction made of paramedics, firefighters, and police officers. Now, in Fallout 76, there is no 8mm Mauser ammo, so the gun fires 308 instead of 8mm Mauser. There are no unique versions of the MG42 at the time of making this video. But its inclusion in Fallout 76 does make me wonder about the lore. Was the MG42 adopted by the US military the same time the R91 was? I mean, both of them are German designs that use stamped metal. The easy stamped sheet metal construction would make the MG42 a very viable choice during the resource wars, and with the main enemy being the communist Chinese, who are very much in favor of using human wave tactics, the fast rate of fire of the MG would very much be put to use. Or, are there just enough World War II bringbacks in Appalachia to supply the survivors of the wasteland? There's also a place in real life West Virginia called the Allegheny Ballistics Laboratory, which tests multiple types of military weapons. Since this place is located in West Virginia, it could be why the MG42 is found there. Now, we don't actually find this facility in Fallout 76. And we actually don't find many real-life locations in Fallout 76 because there are map size constraints so Bethesda has to pick and choose locations to represent while also adding in their own. There can be any number of reasons why the MG42 is in the Appalachian Wasteland. There, I mean, there's not a single bit of written lore mentioning why it's here. Nothing. There's not a note, a book, a, a faction log, nothing. It's just in the game. Now, I would like to point out that the MG42 is strangely accurately modeled, especially for Bethesda. I mean, the charging handles on the correct side, where Bethesda tends to, like, to mirror weapons, like with the Thompson submachine gun and the handmade rifle. Or, if they don't do that, they usually add on sci-fi style parts, like with the radium rifle. In Fallout 76, there is a single mod attachment for the MG. 
That is the prime receiver, allowing the MG42 to fire Ultra Sight 308 rounds. These Ultra Sight 308 rounds do more damage to the scorched creatures of the Appalachian Wasteland. The MG42 is a very strange choice for Fallout 76, as the weapon is from the vanilla game. During Fallout 76's in inception, it was meant to be a survival game, and Bethesda never planned for the game to become a PvE MMO light style game it is today. So why they would include a weapon that burns through ammo, I don't know. Maybe the devs just really wanted MG42 in the game. It's featured very heavily in the promotional material for Fallout 76 and in the E3 2018 gameplay. Well that's about it for the MG42. It's a pretty strange addition to Fallout 76, but now after the game's change from being a survival game to a PvE style MMO light, I think it works in terms of the gameplay since now you can craft a lot more ammo than you could before. Hopefully, Bethesda will finish the Steel Dawn questline soon so I can finish the episode I wanted to make. As always, thanks for watching. Think about subscribing to this channel as well as my main channel, Trooper Fofo.